Okay, today I'm going to be showing you that nothing sucks. So you may or may not have seen this physics trick before. What you do is you fill a small bowl up with water. In this case, I'm just gonna use the bottom of my vacuum chamber. Okay, then I'm going to put some matches stuck in some styrofoam floating in the water. Then I'm going to light the matches on fire and I'm going to stick a cup over it. And so the water is going to get sucked up into the glass. So I say it's going to get sucked up, but what's really happening is the atmosphere is going to push the water up into the glass. So once the water is pushed up inside of there to show that it's the atmosphere pushing it up, I'm going to turn on my vacuum chamber and the water should fall back out of it. Okay, let's light our matches. Sucking up the water. Okay, so you can see how much water it sucked up into there. Again, I keep saying sucked up, but what's really happening is the atmospheric pressure pushed the water up inside of there. Okay, so let's see if that's really true. Showing that nothing sucks in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Oh, it's going back down. <laughs> oh, there it goes. So you can see it bubbling the gas out of the glass there. Okay, so our water's boiling inside of there. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn the vacuum chamber off. And what I'm going to do now is let the air back in, and what should happen is now it's going to push the water back up into the glass. Okay, letting the air back in. Three, two, one. <laughs> See, it went up even higher now. <laughs> That's so cool. You'll notice that the water's up even higher than before. That's because the air that was inside of there, even that small little amount, when we vacuumed out our vacuum chamber, got pushed out of the glass. And so when we lit the air back in, the atmospheric pressure pushed everything back up inside of it. And it creates a seal on the bottom, so that's why the water isn't falling back out again. So and then once we release the seal, then the water can't stay up in there anymore and it'll just fall out. There we go. Nothing sucks. So I thought this was interesting, that's why I wanna talk about it. As soon as I turned on the vacuum chamber, you saw that the cup slid across the chamber. So I'm pretty sure that's due to, as soon as I turned on the vacuum, the pressure decreased and so water started coming out of the cup and that broke the seal a little bit and lit some water underneath the cup. So that made the cup float instead of sitting on the bottom of the chamber. And since my chamber is a little bit tilted, I guess, it slid across and hit the front of the chamber. That's my guess of why it slid across the chamber like that when I turned on the vacuum. Hey everyone, thanks for watching again. I hope you liked this video. If you did, remember to subscribe if you haven't yet. And you can leave me some comments in the comment section with any questions you have or anything you'd like to see me do next time. And I'll see you next time.